This is something for today, back with the uh, second box of Upper Deck 2020-21 Extended Series. So let's get into this. Uh, if you didn't watch my first uh, box, go watch it. Uh, wasn't bad. I like it. So let's get into this. Uh, eight cards per pack, 24 packs per box, six young guns per box. You know the deal. Uh, this series, though, is a little more uh, insert... Uh, Insert focused, I think, more than there's uh, like young guns, like other almost ba well, basically every other uh, series, one or two releases. This I think is more uh, should be chasing the uh, what is it the uh, inserts more than the young guns because young guns aren't as a uh, good, and this is their, they typically are. But yeah, they're actually there's still a couple good names. Uh, of course, Kaliev is in here. Uh, Heponiemi and Rathbone, I think, are the top three. And Michael Bunting, I forgot to mention him. He's in the, uh, he's in this too, and he's pretty good. So, starting off with Corey Schneider and uh, only matter something I noticed just quickly. I don't know when we'll care about this, but the uh, base are less glossy on the uh, extended series than they are regular series one and two. So, and that was a little. Curious. Uh, Leon Dreisaitl, Ultimate Victory. Like I mentioned in my first video, tons and tons of uh, old school products getting uh, inserts in here. It's pretty cool to see. I like it. It's like uh, Rookie Anthology or Chronicles. Or going even further back, Upper Deck uh, Rookie Update. Just lots of variety. Lots of fun. Of course, there's the All Star base cards in Series 3. Kind of cool. There's a update, updated uh, base cards as well, players in their new jerseys. Uh, here's a Sorokin holographics insert. Unfortunately, the corner down there is pretty uh, bad, but pretty cool looking card. And the corners on this thing are not that good, unfortunately. That well, looks like a production error, too, because these base cards are fine. And this one is not. That's a shame, but... Whatever, that's like the uh, first sort of bad quality control I've noticed. The first box didn't really have anything. A couple base cards, but nothing like that. It looks like got a finite in here. Finite rookies. SPX finite rookies at Bowen Byram. Pretty cool. You can see it's kind of like a, it's a cut out there for the little thing. At a uh, two thousand nine hundred ninety nine, twenty nine seventy seven at twenty nine ninety nine. They're cool. I know the high numbering will be something not a lot of people like, but it's a throwback to the nineties uh, SPX finite. Continuing on. Oh gosh, Kevin Ball, young gun. I got that in my first box. Kevin Ball. I don't know what the heck that is. It's like a circle there. Kevin Ball. So I got two of those now. Hopefully it's not the uh, same uh, Young Guns as last time. And I'm noticing a lot of the same base cards too. I didn't get Texier though. My first one. It's a Reflections insert of Ryan O'Reilly. Another old school product. Hey, another Corey Perry base card. Followed by Phil D. Giuseppe again. That was the uh, same order as last time. So, collations looking a little odd. These uh, two boxes were from the same case. Got a Dazzlers in here. Came in uh, Ryan Getzlaff Dazzlers. I did not get one of these in the first box. Of course, the Dazzlers insert from the uh, from series one, series two. There's no canvas cards in here. Uh, that did not continue for this series. Uh, no portraits either. Thank you. I hate those portrait cards. Any right, young guns of? Oh gosh, Austin Strand. Here we go again. We're gonna repeat the yeah, young guns again, aren't we? Uh, Austin Strand. Who else? Jack Rathbone, which isn't too bad. Uh, Joel Hofer. Uh, Connor Mackey. Uh, Cody Curran. Maybe a, uh, another Cole Holtz clear cut. 
There's a rookie class of Pew Suter. These are great looking cards. I like these. Pretty nice. Just undowling. Base. And I've got a uh, clear cut in here. I'll see if it's Cole Holt. Actually, no. What is this? It's something in here. Ah, standing ovation parallel. The uh, ovation insert. I think these are out of 100. Let's see who this is. Ty Smith. This is the, uh, or is this not the parallel? I don't know. Premier Prospects of uh, Ty Smith from Ovation. This is not the uh, parallel. Okay. So the uh, base Ovation and the uh, rookie version have uh, different colors, I guess. Yeah, really nice looking cards. I like these. Nice embossed look like the uh, Ovation cards from back in the day. Joseph, Donato. Oh, here's something. Hirose. That's pretty good. And Alexi Lafreniere Green Reflections, 4 of 100. That's pretty good. That's a really good looking card, too. Nice. That's the uh, hit of the box so far. Or a hit of both boxes, actually. Cool. I'm pleased with that. Jesper Fast, Connor Timmons. I like the uh, base cards because, believe it or not, I sell some of these base cards on uh, comc.com. And the uh, guys, some of these will do well. I know that for sure. It's an Alexi Hepo Niemi, uh, rookie class. These cards look so good. In person, it's kind of hard to, doesn't show super well on camera, but they look great in person. This is Jake Allen, Canadian's base. It's like probably the only one he's going to get, right? Probably sell it for like a dollar. You'd be surprised. Team, uh, player or player and team collectors like this kind of stuff. Yep, there's a Jack Rathbone. And that edge is uh, not cut very well. Got some dull cutters on there. But Jack Rathbone, he's supposed to be good. Uh, he's one of the uh, better young guns to get from here. In fact, this is probably a pretty good one because this might be his only rookie card since he's an uh, extended late release. So he might not get anything other than that. But we'll see. Johan Larson. Once a Kopitar. Ultimate victory. Seems to be a couple of those per box. Ryder to Foley. Here's a 0506 retro of Thomas Shabbat. I like these. I think the young guns of those will sell decently well because the uh, the Series 1 McDavid, Quinn Hughes, and Kale Makara retro young guns sell pretty well. The uh, McDavid sells for like 200 bucks, and it's not even his rookie card, right? Max Comtal, that's a good looking picture. Looks like the car in the background got pretty beat by a, looks like a rock fell on it, big rock or something. And here's the uh, Cody Curran Young Gun. So it looks like the Young Guns are uh, paired together, I guess, again. Which, I don't know, in some cases that's good. If you get Kaliev and you get like three boxes, three Kaliev's, uh, you got three of the best Young Gun. But in my case, right now, it's not good. Some of the base cards are repeating too. This McDavid was in the first box, which I don't mind. It's probably like a dollar card, two dollars. Tuka Rask, retro. And a Mott Peterson. I think Zadorov's a new one. All Star Game Base shouldn't do too. Uh, should do all right too. You know, player collectors like this kind of thing. Another base pack, it seems. No French. Troy Stetcher. Maybe there's probably like some sort of Easter egg photo variation. Maybe I'm passing up on one. Upper Deck's always putting Easter eggs in the uh, in these flagship releases. It's a Young Guns Retro of Thomas Harley. I like these. They're cool. They're cool. Almost the same color as the uh, 
Corey Perry up there, although it's a different team. Yeah, I like those. They're cool. I like that idea. I'm surprised they didn't do it for a 0506 10 year anniversary, kind of, of the uh, Crosby. And then you got the uh, McDavid. That would be, that'd be crazy. Joey Decord. Heaskinen. Retro. Tristan Jari All Star Game. Oh gosh. Love hand Jari. Oh, that's a new one. Didn't get that one in the first box. Patrick Kordarenko. Did not get that young gun in the first box. Not sure much about him, although the decent stats for the uh, NCAA. Center. Not sure about Patrick Kordarenko, but he's got good stats in the NCAA, so that's good. Better than uh, bad stats in the NCAA. Young Guns. Oh, this is another new one. Alexi Heponiemi. It's one of the... Uh, oh, that's a French, too. That's nice. Alexi Heponiemi French. Uh, I wouldn't say he's great, but he's one of the better ones from this uh, release. Second round pick of the uh, Panthers. And a pretty decent uh, World Juniors a year or two ago. Of course, his first goal was the uh, overtime winner with the uh, Panthers. Uh, Joel Hofer, Young Guns. And that one in the first box, too. Uh, World Junior player, another one. Uh, Canada's goalie. Two packs left. See what else can come out of here. It's been a pretty good box so far. Hey. I like that. Arthur Kelly of uh, Holographics, rookie. That one's in good shape, too. That's nice. I like that. The reverse retro jersey. The only jersey he's worn in the NHL so far. Too bad no Kelly of Young Gun, but that's a... Uh, I'm pleased with that. Kings fan, so... Elias Anderson. Did not get that base card in the first box, either. Elias Anderson. And last pack has a Peyton Krebs Ultimate Victory Rookie. That was a pretty good box. Uh, I'm happy with it. Kaliev's nice. Obviously, the hit of the box would be the uh, Corey Perry first Montreal Canadiens base card. But there's some other nice stuff in here, too. And the Hepo Niami is pretty good. Uh, French. That's not too bad. So that is it. Thanks for watching. I like this stuff. I know a lot of people don't, but I personally like it. Uh, yeah, if you, uh, I wouldn't, I'm not going to say like, don't buy this like some people probably are, but give it a shot. Uh, retail should be pretty good. There's a lot of retail exclusive parallels, so, and they're numbered as well. So yeah, I like this stuff. This won't be the end of it. It won't be the uh, last you see on this channel of this stuff. I'll be getting retail for sure. So that's, that is it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.